This is Dan Ark here at 878 Airsoft. We're here with our BRDM2. If you don't know anything about this, this is a Soviet design amphibious armored car that was first uh, designed in 1962. This model was in 1964. These were manufactured all over uh, the Warsaw Pact nations. Uh, we actually imported this from the Czech Republic a couple months ago and uh, been using it on the field, parades. Uh, we used it today for our first game on the field. We had sort of a defend the BRDM and let the BRDM attack the town and the insurgents were trying to fight us off. Uh, it went fine, except we busted hydraulic hose and uh, so it's back to fixing it. Typical vehicles on the motor pool. It comes with uh, 14 millimeters of armor. It'll stop any small arm fire up to a 50 caliber. Um, and uh, the Russians actually had, when they had them in the Warsaw Pact nations, there's a rotating turret up there and there would be a 14.5 uh, millimeter machine gun with a coaxial 762 machine gun that went with it. Uh, and so far we've enjoyed using it on the field. It drives, uh, you know, in terms of the military vehicles I've driven, it probably is worse than the old deuces. It doesn't have power steering. It's incredibly hot inside the vehicle because it's hermetically sealed because it's designed to be amphibious. And uh, we regret that we don't have any footage to show you that today because we're working on some things to make sure that when we do take it out in the water that it stays afloat and doesn't sink with Scott aboard it. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a, one of our working projects uh, for the motor pool to do. So this vehicle in many ways is used like the up armored Humvees in the American Army today. It's designed to be a scout car, lead the way, and actually a fighting vehicle for a small four-man crew. Uh, there actually was the same thing as four-man crew. You've got a driver, co-driver, commander, and a gunner in the vehicle. But unlike the Humvees, this vehicle is fully amphibious. It has a skirt. This right rises up internally. This will come up and keep water from flowing over the front of the deck uh, and flooding the, in, into the compartment. And then if we walk around back here, you can see those are, foot, those are footholds cut in the armored hull. Around the back, this is a hatch that opens up internally. And then there are two propellers in there that actually propel the vehicle forward while in the water. So it is, again, designed for river crossings, and it can do that. And it's, you know, it's, it's designed to handle relatively rough water and you'd want to be careful with it. But we have a pond here at 878, so our next project in terms of repairs and making things working is making sure that the hull is completely sealed, that uh, what we have to propellers, the drive shafts, that we make sure those seals are intact and that when we get this in the water, it doesn't sink. Because if the water, if it's not intact, that water rushes into the hull and we basically go to the bottom of the pond, uh, which, I'm not thinking it's going to be a lot of fun in an armored vehicle. So that's the uh, that's what we have. We've been using it. We've been driving on the road. It gets uh, less than a mile to the gallon right now, and uh, so it's very expensive to drive any fair where far away. We probably spent burned about ten dollars worth of gas running around the field today. But uh, we're hoping to add more to the field. We are looking at a BTR next, and uh, that's down the road. And at some point, probably an old T54 or T72 tank. You'll see. Um, we like to try to incorporate these into the game to make sure we do it in a safe manner. Uh, but we really think it adds some to the game to see those rolling by. And we're looking forward to U.S. Airsoft's footage of the game today. We had a couple people using rocket launchers, and you'll get to see that footage. Nothing, nothing more entertaining than seeing some, you know, some new Airsoft player getting to take down essentially an armored car with their rocket launcher. So come join us out here at 87 Airsoft. This is Dan Arkey thanking you for watching U.S. US Airsoft. Be good, Chad.